Maybe I need to update the overlay. But if it's not working, I'm just going to change it to the standard overlay. So it's no big deal. All right. Um, All right. So in the bottom and top right corner of Frost, we have Allins Luneth playing as a Teal Protoss. And in the bottom right hand corner, playing as the Blue Terran, we have Siegfried playing for Team All Inspiration as well. Indeed. Um, so, let me see. I, I think this matchup could honestly go either way. I think it's going to be a good match, but uh, depending on what S Lunith does in these first couple minutes, um, this actually could, like, the kind of dynamic in TVP right now is like adept heavy styles within the first five minutes, and then um, after that, in the kind of mid game, Terran takes the uh, aggressive. So we do see. Oh, I need to bring up production here. We do see Rax first, so it's probably going to be a Reaper expand from Siegfried. Um, probably. And then we see Lunith going to scout around you know, the map. He's going to check the vertical spawns first, and then my guess is cross spawns. And yeah, he's going to gonna find him last. So. Yep. But uh, usually, well, what I do as a Zerg, I check the nearest expansion, so I would have checked top first if I'm being blue. And I would have checked the wrong way if being Lunith, so I guess it's either way. If you don't if Meanwhile, you're not if you're not rushing, it's not that big of a deal, I guess. Yeah. Meanwhile Siegfried hasn't even scouted where uh he is gonna check the vertical spawns first, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna find Lunith first. Yep. And the Reaper's gonna be there when it's supposed to be there, not delayed, nothing. Which is very, very nice. Yep. For the Terran, yeah. anyway. Not so much for the Protoss. <laughs> um, even then, I'm not entirely sure. We do see... We don't see Mama Core in production yet. Um, so the Reaper might get a little bit of damage done. Yeah, Luna's complaining about Frost. Yep. Well, he's gonna know soon where he... Well, he knows where he well, is. Well, he, yeah, he knows where he is. Meanwhile, Siegfried is just gonna find him right away. He does see an expansion. Which means that nothing particularly cheeky is going to come out of the Protoss. Nope. No proxies. No kind of. Um, the Reaper is going to get a. Is going to harass this man. Is he going to get a pro? He might. Yep. One goes down there. Yep. But that app's going to chase him away. At least for now. And the Mama Core is there as well. Two go down, actually. Alright. He resaturates the gas immediately, so that's good. Uh huh. See, and Twilight Council going down, so we're probably going to see some kind of adept aggression here. Um, yeah, I guess Blink, against... Blink Stalker's not really a thing against Terran, right? Yeah. I don't. Uh, if you do it like 4K, it is. Okay, one that's base. The only, I mean, I'm not the best of terrans obviously but that's the only time i've ever really seen blink stalkers okay well we're gonna know in a second and it's gonna be a dark shrine yes Ooh, <laughs> i like this okay. now he has to stop the reaper from getting in there again he cannot let this be scouted um reaper's gonna try and poke in uh gonna try and go around he may get in He's gonna get in by the skin of his teeth if yeah, anything. Yeah, but the mothership yep. core might take him down before he sees the dark shrine. Nope, he's gonna see it. He's definitely. And gonna see here's the scout. He knows it's yep. there. Wasted an overcharge there, not getting the reaper. And now he can save up some energy. Yep. For the scans. We do see an engineering bay going down almost immediately as Siegfried scouts that. Yeah. Um, and then we have a weird floating. Starport. Oh, it's gonna, it's right it's ready to swap on to yeah. the reactor that the factory is building. Factory was a bit delayed it seems. There we go. Yep. So this is an interesting thing that's going on right here. This is the two one one um stim drop. Okay. Um normally you this is a TVZ build. But I, and I'm not entirely sure how... Sometimes it works out in uh, TVP. 
but sometimes, uh, but it's kind of a 50-50 chance. If your opponent's going heavy adepts, uh, it pretty much just invalidates the entire, at least in my opinion, build. Okay. I like the, can I like the, the missile turret placement a lot there. It's going to cover the entrance. Um, yep. The war prism is ready though. Two dark templars inside. I don't know what he's hoping to achieve with this. I mean... He knows it has been scouted and he's gonna lose the war prism. Oh, that's a big thing, but uh, let's see oh, if he's gonna get some Templar. workers. These Dark Templar are definitely gonna go ham here. Yeah, but Nine so will the drop. killed for Lunith, which is actually pretty significant. Oh, but on the opposite end of the map, the drop is going down and he's yes. getting quite a done. Um, Overcharge going down. Dark Templars coming to help. They're gonna die though. Good reaction time from Siegfried there with the scan directly, seeing yep. the Dark Templars coming in. And the DTs have been cleaned up, I guess, down here. The DTs going uh, to town on these Marines. He doesn't have enough to stop this, actually. It's gonna this be Nexus tough. This might go down. If, uh... Oh, but the Mama Core does come in and uses uh, what everyone refers to as the one button defense. Yeah, he still has one left. How many scans does the Terran have left? Still enough for for at least one scan, two scans, so it's gonna be safe. Yeah. But, uh, he, oh, actually, two Marines left. That's not gonna do anything. Yeah. He might be, if he gets a little bit greedy, he can maybe pick off a worker or two on the third. Interesting placement of the third, in my opinion. It's towards the Terran. Um, which I guess is smart if you're being if you're planning on being aggressive. a little bit defensive, yeah, or aggressive. Well, currently the Terran is uh, down twenty workers, which he can negate to some point with mules, but still, the uh, the tech from yeah. Lunith did a lot more damage than Siegfried's attack. Yep. So, well, because a missile turret, while it might spot DTs, is not going to do anything against DTs. It's not yep. going to defend. And here we go. Getting some this is a big push coming out. These I, stim marines are just gonna go absolutely ham on this entire small kind of force. Yeah, he's gonna this lose nexus this. Might, yeah, this nexus is definitely going down. Also, he he's only down ten workers now, which is very good actually. Yep. So, but he needed to do damage with this push. And if you let the proto sit back and macro a bit, you're just gonna get ran over by the train. Mm -hmm. The stalkers, the Ooh. boys have been pulled. Oh my god. Now. It's like these marines. Sacrificial probes there. The this... Mama Core? My god. Oh, it goes down. And I think that's it for this game one. There's only these one marines. game actually. Lunith does call GG. And Here we go. this game goes to Olin Siegfried. And Secret advances to the round of eight, where he will meet Riser. Oh, Protoss versus Protoss. Absolutely, I don't know anything about that matchup. Yeah, me neither, but it's going to be interesting. Very interesting indeed. So, we will wait for the match Puddle versus Ultralisk ending if it hasn't already. And then we shall continue to the round of eight. Are you taking a shower? No, that's my roommate. Ah, okay. Yes, I'm taking a shower as I'm casting this entire tournament. Yeah, it's like, what? <laughs> Oh, uh, yes. Uh, but yeah, I do have a roommate, so you may hear a little bit of background noise. Um, we are college students, so we're just waking up over here um, at noon. <laughs> yeah, for me it's it's 8 in the evening, so already late. Um, I already explained to him what I'm doing, so he's going to try and you know keep it down for the most part. Yeah, it's going to be fine, I guess. All right. So, we have Poppy Joe versus Frox and Riser versus Siegfried next on a best of three. Actually, on that note, let me change the overlay. Because uh, Gameheart's not working. Because 
haven't updated it. Ah. Hey! Oh! Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. I've never heard that. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Bless you, probably, right? Because <laughs> yeah, we say bless. Gesundheit. I've heard Gesundheit. That's yeah, pretty common. People usually say it if they don't understand what you're talking about, right? They say Gesundheit. Yeah, that means like good health, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, so. Uh, yeah, Puddle is in game. Yeah, they're, they're still playing, I guess. So. Well, well, we will see. Um. But I think that was a really good game played by Siegfried. Yeah. Um, the like, I I think one mistake made by uh, by Lunith was not being uh, heavily like um, invested in the first kind of aggressive. Like Protoss right now is I think at its strongest in the matchup in the first couple five minutes. Um, okay. That's why. He, you don't like in the matchup right now. You don't see a lot of Terrans and, and like the professional level go for anything more than like kind of a half-hearted widow mind drop, just because of how prevalent like adept, you know, all ins are. Because like, yeah, I mean, had he sent in maybe two stalkers with these these DTs, it would have been a different story. Uh, I don't think so. I think like <clears throat> opening. Like just two adepts would have been sufficient enough, cause like, rather than you know the DTs, uh, especially since it got scouted so quickly. Yeah. Like even if you scout um, adepts, it's like, well, what am I gonna do? Like I'm just gonna try and do exactly what I do, and like those are two adepts can actually get quite a bit done. Yeah. Um, compared to DTs, which you know once you're scouted, it's like, oh well, I gotta make this work. You know what I mean? Yeah, you like. I mean, he could have cancelled the Dark Shrine once it was spotted. He would have mind fucked uh, Siegfried a bit. Definitely, um, and he would have wasted, you know, those minerals on the turrets. Um, yeah, that's three hundred minerals. And you, that's you're gonna, you're gonna notice yeah. that. Yeah, uh, another that warp prism loss was absolutely huge as well. Warp prisms yeah. are super, super important in uh, TVP. Yeah, he was too cheeky with that. Especially uh, once you're scouting it, he's gonna build missile turrets. You should know that. So yeah, I mean, and DTs are, versus Marines are very, very good once, but uh, but as soon as he scans, it's over. Mm -hmm. it just evap evaporate. Well, I could have turned them into archons. I mean, um, that's kind of what you're supposed to do once they get scouted yeah. or after the initial kind of like harassment. Um, some people like to keep a couple in their mix of army just because you're like okay because like most Terrans are be like okay i have the dt i scouted the dts i know they're there i have sufficient defenses i'm probably not going to see them for the rest of the game yeah you know so keeping the like dts in your army composition uh i would i, I normally see around four just kind of like like you, it it lets you know the Protoss kind of go crazy, because mm. like who expects DT in a regular army? Yeah, you see them and you're like, oh, you bastard! <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> Against you know Protoss, another Protoss or another or a Zerg, it it's not as effective because um, they have you know overseers and uh, pro not the probes the. Not the probes. What are they called? My brain is the 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 the, the, the SCVs. Not the SCVs. Drones. The well, I um, I didn't listen. I was I was uh, looking at the chat here. I'm sorry. What what, what was the question? Okay, so uh, like I don't think DTs are as effective again in like your army composition yeah. as against Zerg or Protoss because Zerg has overseers and yeah. um, 
Protoss have the things that um, can't, for whatever reason, remember they're invisible and they see other invisible things. Observers. Right? Observers. There we go. I, I'm an idiot. I forgot that we were called that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so we're, we're going to cast Secret versus Riser yet, but we're going to wait uh, to start the next round. Just so the other guys can catch up and the brackets will be on the same page. Uh-huh. But yeah, so DT is good against Terran because they don't have, you know, perfect um, kind of detection. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna take five guys because the other bracket's not ready. So, um, and then we'll be back with the riser versus Siegfried, the PvP. All right.
stream.